The month of May starts one week from today and is typically our stormiest month. David joining us now with a look at what May, David, is expected to bring. Every year is something different around here, right? <laughs> it's the only month of the year, Jen, when we see over five inches of rain in a typical May. It also brings our highest instances of severe weather, mm. dangerous flash flooding. So here we go. New May outlooks just out from the NOAA Climate Prediction Center call for a typically wet May. I'm saying not wetter than normal, not drier than normal. This means we should get a healthy amount of rain, and that could be great news for chipping away at our multi-year rainfall deficit during this ongoing drought. The outlooks also call for warmer than normal temperatures. That's no big surprise, as honestly, most months these days are warmer than average as the climate warms. On KXAN.com, find this article on the weather blog from meteorologist Nick Bannon, and there you can actually see an interesting heat map of deadly flooding reports across the country and how central Texas Texas, unfortunately, is the capital. May is the month when we all really need to remember, turn around, don't drown.